So when you're hooking your plenum up to your ducting, as I mentioned, uh, the, the ducting coming off the plenum, we want between 180 and 200 square inches. So length times width. Now your ducting can be rectangular, it can be square, it can be round, and you can have multiple. So you might have a rectangular and a round duct coming off. It doesn't matter. You just need to make sure that your total square inches of ducting coming off the plenum is between 180 and 200 square inches. One of the real common questions I get all the time is, uh, do I have enough ducting? And I think people forget their high school algebra or geometry, or whatever it was, figuring the area of a circle. And so the area of a circle is pi r squared, and you don't have to figure it out. I've got it all here for you. So you would take half of the, you take the radius, and you'd square it, and you'd take it times pi, 3.14. So a six inch round duct is 28.3 square inches. An eight inch round duct is 50 square inches. So if you want, uh, you could run four eight inch ducts and you'd have between 180 and 200 square inches. A 10 inch is only 78. A 12 inch is 113. A 14 inch round duct is 153.9 150, or 154 square inches. But if you only want one duct off the plenum for your vapor fire, you need to go up to a 16 inch round duct because that gives you 201 square inches. So when you're doing the ducting for your furnace, um, in most applications, you're going to be required to have a backup furnace. Your insurance company is going to want to know if you're in a cold climate like Minnesota or the northern part of the country, that if, the, if you're not home and the fire goes out, that you still have backup heats, so your water pipes don't freeze. So putting two furnaces in together is called commoning your furnaces. Way back in the 60s and 70s and before that, they used to hook them up in series. The hot air from the wood furnace would go into the plenum of the, your uh, gas, propane, or oil furnace and go in that way. That's very inefficient. It's no longer acceptable. Today, your uh, furnaces are hooked in parallel. That means that one furnace can operate, the other furnace can operate, or both furnaces can operate in tandem. In this drawing, I'm showing round ducts going up into the warm air trunk line. This would be the warm air trunk line running through the house. So both furnaces would have warm air ducts. Now I'm only showing one duct, but you could have multiple ducts if you want. Um, now when you run your, it's easiest if you can run and run your pipes horizontally into the warm air trunk line. Now, one thing you're going to have to have is a backdraft flap. So, and that's what I'm in, uh, showing right here. So the air can basically only go into the warm air trunk line. It can't come out. If it tries to come out, this flap's gonna shut and it's gonna block it. Both furnaces need a backdraft flap. So let's say your wood furnace is, the blower's running, it's pushing hot air up into your warm air trunk line. You don't want that warm air to come back down into your uh, gas, oil, or propane furnace. That'd be very inefficient. Uh, same thing if your gas, oil, or propane furnace is running. You want a one-way flap here so that, and that, that'll let, allow the air into the warm air trunk line, but it can't come back down the warm air trunk line into your wood furnace. Now you won't always, okay, if, you're, if your backup furnace is already installed, you probably don't want to take your ducting apart to install that backdraft flap here. And sometimes this may go, excuse me, straight up into your warm air trunk line, and that's fine. If you don't want to redo your ducting on your existing furnace or it just doesn't work, the other option you have is you can still leave the flap on the vapor fire, but this, this here just represents a cold air duct coming behind the furnace and down to your existing furnace. So if, if you don't have room to put a, a backdraft flap on one of the furnaces on the warm air side, you could put a backdraft flap on the cold air return. So again here, if the vapor fire is pumping heat with its blower up into the plenum and up into the warm air trunk line, that duct, that flap will let it push air into the warm air trunk line. But now, if you have a backdraft flap on the cold air return, yeah, it could probably try, but it can't push air back down here because that flap's gonna lock shut and it won't let you push hot air back down through there. So that's the two setups for setting up your backdraft flaps. It can, you can put them in the cold air returns, probably best in the warm air uh, 
uh, section of the furnace, but either way works fine.